Well, thanks for clicking on WXYZ.com and for clicking on to learn a little bit more about dew point, which is a phrase, actually two words, that we use pretty frequently, especially in the late spring, in the summer, and into the early part of the fall, when it's a very good indication of the amount of moisture in the air. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, a definition, and this is the kind of definition you might use if you're in a trivia contest or something. What is dew point anyway? Well, it's defined as the temperature to which air must be cooled for it to become saturated, which then allows dew to form, hence the name dew point. All right, well, that may be the official definition, but it's easier and probably a better expression to simply remember that dew point is a measure of moisture in the air, and the higher the number, the more humid it feels. That's how we like to use and express dew point on 7th first alert weather. I'll give you an idea because the numbers specifically make a big difference. When it's on the low side of this range and that dew point expresses a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, anything around 50 is very fresh and dry. Even 55 is still very pleasant. You get toward that 60 range, a lot of people start to feel that it's just a little bit sticky. And as that dew point can go up, 65 is uncomfortable, and anything that's around 70 or above 70 is downright oppressive. For practical purposes, it's rare to see a dew point in this area, anything above about 76 or 77, and that is a very, very tropical feel. Now, here's an example of dew point readings spread across the metro area. They vary sometimes quite a bit, just like temperature can. But in this example, everybody's kind of humid. Everybody's in the upper 60s to near 70, and it is feeling a little bit like the tropics. As we mentioned, that 70 degree reading, a very uncomfortable one for almost everybody. But as we widen out the view at the very same time, the dew point readings off to the north and west of us are a little bit cooler. And they are more pleasant, a little bit easier to take because conditions with a dew point of 52 in Minneapolis, 48 in Fargo, that's certainly the comfortable range. And very often, you can see here, we show yellow as the drier air and the darker greens is the more moist. Very often, cold fronts separate humid air from drier air, which may be moving one direction or the other. So the most important thing to remember about dew point, it's a measure of moisture in the air. The higher it is, the more uncomfortable it is. It's a much better measure than relative humidity, which changes quite a bit with temperature. We'll keep using dew point. We hope you keep watching and visiting WXYZ.com.